Hey guys, it's OSMVGXNews.com. You're watching our video review of the H19 Personal Music Player. Now, this is a very interesting product because it's actually something uh, released actually in Asian markets, as you can see by the text on the device, but it also comes in an international version with the uh, regular English text online. Um, the device sells for around $20, which is very inexpensive for a multimedia MP3 player style device. Uh, this device, as you might guess, is actually launched and, uh, and aimed for the elderly, um, the, you know, the elderly. Uh, target audience and also is uh, suitable for uh, group activities and organizations looking to have something with a loudspeaker to play around, kind of like a boom box, uh, but again in an mp3 player format. Um, it basically is a mp3 player, uh, except it has a large speaker instead of having the ability to discreetly play back your music. Um, it still has a 3.5mm headphone jack on the side for you to listen to music, but its uh, main use, because the device is really large in size, is going to be playing back your mp3 files and FM radio files through the speaker, which uh, does a very good job because the speaker is extremely extremely loud. Um, one of the loudest speakers we've ever tested on an MP3 player. Um, so again, great for people walking in parks, perhaps um, at parties listening to music. And again, um, yeah, it's just a fun device to have uh, as long as you know its limitations and it's definitely not a discreet MP3 player. Um, as far as design is concerned, it's made entirely out of plastic. It's a little bit cheap feeling because, again, the price isn't too expensive. Uh, some of the buttons here are a little bit loose, in my opinion. There's a full USB 2.0 slot on the top, which allows you to connect USB-based hard uh, flash drives for you to actually play back more music. So the device is basically like a card reader uh, where it plays back the music stored on your flash drives uh, using the speaker or, again, using the, the earphones. It does a pretty good job of that. On the front here is a TFT LCD display uh, that measures two inches diagonally, and it, it actually plays back uh, you know, your tracks, your minutes, and also shows your battery life. Speaking of, the battery life on this device actually runs on a lithium iron rechargeable battery. For some reason, it actually uses a Nokia BL5C battery, which is quite strange. Uh, battery life on this device is very, very good. Even though the speaker, uh, again, takes up a lot of battery, uh, we assume to operate, it actually lasts around um, it lasts around a few weeks before we had to really recharge it, uh, and we play back music with the speaker occasionally. The front of the device is dominated basically by these, by these control panels. Um, you'll notice on the screen right now it's showing SD, which means that the music is coming from the SD card slot on the side here, or the micro SD card slot. Um, it's going to display you know, a USB if it's coming from the top, and it's also going to display you know, AM or FM radio if we press the FM radio section, and then it's going to play back our tracks from our radio channels. So it's a very comp complimentary and uh, very full-featured set. Um, Again, the device actually doesn't have any built-in memory on itself. It just relies on external sources such as a radio reception or plugging in a pair of USBs or micro SD card slot, SD micro SDs. To slide through your different uh, music tracks, uh, if, if I'm using the micro SD card, um, which device actually comes bundled with a four gigabyte card, the international version that I have here actually uh, comes included with 500 songs, um, folk songs in, in um, Asian languages, so it's not going to work in the United States here, but you can select through those tracks by pressing their, their corresponding tracks. The device comes with a user manual with a list of all 500 songs and what those songs correspond to. So once you select the track, you can start playing it, and it works pretty well. And again, it starts from zero. You can fast forward, uh, rewind by pressing these buttons and holding them down, and it works again pretty well. I will say, however, the speaker, even though it's very loud, which you can see right now, it's very loud. It can get extremely loud, uh, but unfortunately, it's mono in sound. I don't know if it's uh, again something that's caused by the fact that the, the micro SD card tracks are very heavily compressed, or it's the speaker themselves. Uh, it delivers overall good quality. Again, if you're using this to exercise, perhaps at the gym or walking around, uh, you know, at parties, perhaps. But it's not going to be again for the most professional sounding quality of audio, as you might expect. Um, because the sound can get kind of distorted and it's not very crisp or clear sounding. And again, I recognize that, of course, anything with compressed music, it's not going to be as good in terms of sound quality. So this is basically to skip up a track and to go lower a track and to uh, fast forward those buttons and um, more controls as far as... Uh, you know, sliding back and forth between the radio selections and then your card selections. On the right hand side of the device, we have a volume control as a slider scroll wheel. We have a, again, the micro SD card slot with four gigs that's bundled, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and to recharge the device, you use a standard mini USB 2.0 port to connect to the AC or to a computer to charge it up, and it works pretty well. And again, on the back, some more information. Um, as far as radio reception is considered, uh, the device actually functions best if you actually extend the radio antenna, and it can get quite long. Um, and of course, it's best to use if you set it on the tabletop, um, perhaps outdoors, and uh, it will work pretty well. So overall, um, 
we found this to be a pretty interesting device, the H, uh, H19 um, portable music player. It's a, a little mu it's a music box, as they call it, and uh, it basically is an MP3 player without any built-in storage, but it just takes external sources and plays it back using a very loud speaker, or if you want to, via a 3.5mm headphone jack, and it's aimed at seniors and at younger kids, and I think that the audience that it's being targeted at uh, will find this device to be pretty interesting and a pretty satisfactory purchase. Thanks for watching here at osmvtxreviews.com. It's been our video review of the H19 Portable Music Box.